Ooh. Let me go ahead and shut this. Well, let me scooch up as well. Ah. Good evening, everybody. It is Boone ASMR here. And, um, well, it's been a while. What can I say? Uh, I almost forgot how to even act on camera. You know, it's, it's, it's been a long, long time. But we're here, and, you know, something was just telling me that I had to just check in on my people, you know, and just check them, check them in. been up to a lot of things and it's been very hard to um, prioritize YouTube you know I tried another thing couldn't do it I'm just so focused on a lot of things that it's just it's so hard to um, prioritize this but it's not to say that I forgot about you that's the furthest thing from the truth it actually ate at me every single day and I would look, and I would keep hiding, and, you know, I mean, I'm visibly nervous right now as we speak, so, but I had to just say a few things. I don't know how long this is going to be, but something was just telling me that, <sighs> let's do what I do best, and we'll start with the story. Yesterday, I was talking to my friend a great friend, someone I've known for a very long time, and, you know, he's, uh, we're entering our, our weird stage, you mind my messy demeanor, by the way, I just got back from a run, I don't do that, but, just started to, so, but, I was talking to my friend, and he's stuck, you know, he's big world, small purpose, he doesn't know how to take advantage of being in a rut, he doesn't know what to do, he wants to leave, but he doesn't know how, you know, he, he wants to dream, but he doesn't know what, he's stuck, and it's a, it's not a horrible place to be, but it is definitely a, uh, a tough one to be in. So we talked about it for at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and kind of just came to our senses that he needs to just focus on the dream. You know, it starts with a vision, and that's been like something that I've been learning in the last year and a half or so, maybe just the last year, that... It really just starts with a vision, and you have to really just focus on that vision. It's the corniest thing in the world when people say, just follow your dreams, you know, just, just follow your dreams. But it's, it's really that simple, and I don't think the following your dreams method gets enough credit. Gosh, that just looks so silly right now. Mind me. But I don't think it gets enough credit just to follow your dreams. It's it's really that simple. And it could be it could be anything. You could seriously start today. And that's just what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about you know the state of starting today. How how is it so hard to just flip that switch, make something just Excuse me. Hold on. I see the problem here. That's a lot better, though. Okay. Where were we? Start flipping the switch. Yes. So flipping the switch. How is it so difficult to just flip the switch? Start today. How do you break the habit of wanting to do it tomorrow? 
it's really a collection of events, you know. You don't just start today. Because, you know, today it's too hard. You might start tomorrow, but and maybe you do need a break. Some I I was watching this video and it was maybe you do need a break, but don't give up today. And that made me really it was it's an oxymoron, you know. How are you supposed to take a break but not give up today? But you really have to give it your all. You're you're the lion chasing the gazelle, and the gazelle is just a pinch away every time, but and it's gonna you're gonna keep getting there. You're gonna keep slipping. Like that dream, it's gonna keep getting away from you and and you're gonna feel you're gonna feel horrible every time. You're gonna want to give up every time. You're gonna feel stupid. You're gonna feel ashamed, walking back, no dream. Everybody else seems to be accomplishing their dreams. Seems like they have it, and you don't. You know, it feels feels horrible. But then, what you do? You're gonna be chasing this gazelle metaphorically, and gonna get just a pinch you're gonna pluck a little hair off of it you're gonna pluck a little hair off it and then you're gonna fall on your face again but what did you learn you know what did you learn from just getting that teensy little teensy little touch the dream is possible it's possible you can't you can get there so all those times that you fell you kept getting up each time and you got closer every time and that's just what's so special about the struggle of being stuck about not knowing what it is that you want or how hard it may seem that you can't do it but yeah and we'll, we'll come back to this so he, he said my friend I just can't do it, you know, I can't, it's, I just can't, and whenever I hear people say that they can't, you know what it makes me want to do, it makes me, it makes me want to just grab you by the shoulders and just, just shake it out of you, you know, just stop, stop it, quit saying that. I can't even believe that, that you even think that you can't do it. And that's you right now. Whatever you think that you can't do right now, you know. I can't even believe that you just can't think that you do it. Like, you can. It's so possible. Like, someone like me, I used to think that I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. It was impossible for me to do it. Reaching my goals was just not possible but then I over time I started to realize that it's very possible and everyone can do it you can flip that switch regardless of like how you feel up here you know it's it's a hard thing to overcome a very deep artistic um almost impossible to put to words sadness brewing in your head it's eating at you every day it makes you feel like you're you can't do it you're a failure you envy other people and that eats at you as well but what you need to do with all of that that storm all that horrible feeling that you you've collected over the years you need to gather it all up and just stand, take a stand to it, face it, like your mind is a warfare that's constantly, constantly going on, you're fighting it every day, and, and one of these days, you're gonna get the best of it, like, maybe just once in a year, maybe this whole year you couldn't do it, but maybe just one time you did, maybe just one time. And that just gives you a, it gives you a taste. 
you know what? It shows you that you can you can get through this 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 rut this this feeling of being stuck. It's it's overcomable. Is that a word? Overcomable. <laughs> it is though. It's the truth. You simply can't. And like it's almost like the struggle that I experience now I almost find deep joy in it. I almost enjoy getting hit with something that I I didn't particularly enjoy. You know, so it's like I didn't like it, so now I like it. And that it made me feel horrible. Maybe I was treated unfairly. But I'm gonna take that and be like, okay. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it right here and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Okay. And and you can do it. And my friend can do it, you know. And, and this video is mostly just about my friend because it's it's the it's the unconditional you can't disappoint me feeling that I, I, I share for him as well as all of my friends, my family. It's that no matter how hard you fall, I just simply do not believe there's not a single doubt in my mind that you can't get back up. You just, there's no way. And, and it's everybody. I mean, half the time I post something on like my private story on Snapchat or something, I'm not even really like, it's nothing, it's nothing but like me going like, I know you can, I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain this. That's basically what I'm doing right now. All I have to say to people is what I'm saying right now. I, I truly believe it because I I was there and maybe I will be again maybe maybe I'll be stuck again but I'm ready to experience something like that again because I, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it I'm gonna I hear no bell I'm gonna no matter how badly beat up I look I'm gonna get back up every time and I just know I believe it and even when there's a time where I don't get back up I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna fight that feeling it's 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 an ongoing warfare that never ends and I just want you in particular you to experience this ultimate enlightenment and I think what a lot of it comes from is being less ambitious with your goals. It's it's very tough to disappoint yourself because it happens a lot. You get you get disappointed. You fall short, and it hurts. It hurts a lot. Maybe a grade job interview didn't hear back just disappointing your friends your parents it's it never feels good when you fall short but instead of feeling horrible about it which is human of course there's no shame in in feeling too weak to continue you know there's no shame you gotta you gotta find it because it's, it's not going to just, you know, magically uh, put itself in a process. you got to really search for it. A lot of screaming, crying in your bed, and waking up, looking in the mirror. It, it's, it's a very tough process to find that contentment. But there will be a day where... After you gave it some, after, when it's everything that you think about, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, it's from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, that it is still on your mind. There will be a time where you're just going to smile through it. 
you're gonna you're gonna get a teensy little touch of that gazelle and it's gonna it's gonna feel great and it's gonna be addicting and you're gonna want to get that gazelle again and maybe you won't get it for another month or another another year but you know it's possible to get a, another touch just to tr get it one more time and, and that's that's the whole fun of it is, is finding that that possibility and then never looking back and you can find this in a, the gym you know you can find it academically it's really whatever you want to apply it to just feeling good yeah but I might need to change the topic here I want to keep this video going but I don't know how to uh, keep going off of what I was going off of I got something going on here I think this only took about a week and a half maybe Oh gosh. In other news, I'm 200 pounds. Um, just kidding. Just drink a sh I drink a shake. I'm 200 pounds. I'm trying to get to two, uh, 220. Maybe by the end of the year. Maybe by the end of the school year. Can't really see it. I'm looking yoked. It's cool. I just want to inspire others to do it though. Um, I'm still doing my Japanese. My Nichiga Atarashi is something I, I like to say to myself a lot. Um, I'm learning some Spanish too. What is that? Cara dia es buena? Cara, cara dia es buena? Is that what it is? Or nuevo, not bueno. Nuevo? Is that what it is? Every day is new. My needs you got to But every day is new. You know, you're gonna wake up and that sun is gonna kiss you right on your cheek. And you're gonna you're gonna feel that love of the world just noticing you and that's what that's what keeps me going I wake up I'm like oh my god I'm so tired I gotta go to work and uh, when the day is over I'm like wow even though I hate waking up sitting at work all day I'm just glad that I did that felt good it felt good to kick bad habits that I knew were bad for me it felt good to have a goal that I can chase down like a lion and you know sometimes I don't I don't get that goal and I mess up that goal I, I thought I was going to get there and then I didn't and then I have to try and carry myself but that's the best part that's the best part for everybody it's just that goal maybe that goal isn't even achievable and that's for you to roam this this uh, world that is finding how to do it to do the impossible That's really just all there is to it, is, is just focusing, give it your all. If you want something to happen, you like need it to happen. You, you need to treat that thing like it is your main priority. You can't keep lying to yourself. You can't keep saying that like, like you want this thing. 
and then you go out and you don't focus on it. It's a hard thing to do, especially in this world where everybody has fried their dopamine. There's no dopamine left in that, you know. It's so hard to just not sit there and uh, just scroll, waste the day away, get on the game, maybe even go to the gym, you know, because, I mean, the gym is cool and all, but you, there's a lot of goals that can easily be above, like, the gym. Like, that's just a time where you can just spend your day. But you can have other priorities, you know. Because, you know, being active is cool and all, but it's almost like being on the game. You could be working on some real goals that'll help you to really level your mind out. Help you focus a lot more. Find joy in feeling lost. I think my my other friend, my roommate actually from Arizona, said it today. Being lost is almost like a blessing. Because you're granted the opportunity to explore your your thoughts. You are in the prime position to create a thought so strong and just go for it. Just go for it. It's almost like you're at a blank state where you're undecided. You can take your life in any direction that you want to take it. And that's the most beautiful part of feeling lost and and down and not knowing where to go is it starts here. It starts right here. starts right here it's so beautiful to just realize that it just it starts right here one thing that I've been doing recently and I don't try to put this on to other people because I'm very um uh, by myself on this a lot of th- this thing I don't I don't project this on other people and try to make them Feel, I'm more just trying to put people on as in like, bro, just like try this. But God. God is good. I don't even know if I'm Christian, but having a feeling of just like knowing what you should do and then doing it for the greater good almost in a way. It's like, ugh, I don't want to do this, but I know. That is what God is telling me to do. So I'm going to do it. Like, I'm going to accomplish this because I know that's what he wants me to do. And then once you do it, you're like, wow. Thank God I listened to him. And you can use, not Christian God, but just your sense of higher. Um, I don't remember from psychology. It's the the ego, the super ego, id. Super id is out. I don't Whatever the the highest, most really controlling the strings is thinking, it's almost like you have to do its biddings because it knows what 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 you need to be doing. So when you serve that higher purpose of chasing down something that you you really want to happen, it'll it'll just feel so good. I don't know if I have anything else to say. If I had to put it in a, a short summary of words, you have so much time. You can start right here. Whatever it is that you need to do, you can do it. And I just believe in you 100%. Like, I'm so honest. And. You might be questioning, like, the validity of me, you know, like, oh, this this guy, like, I'm not saying this is what you're saying, and I don't even think I give off this kind of vibe, this type of vibe, but it's like, oh, this guy, he's over here 
so happy to be all put together and telling me that I could do it. I am the most insecure person in the planet. I swear. But after I started like putting all of that insecurity into a all right, I'll show you and you as in myself almost in a way. It's like I'm gonna prove you wrong right now. I started putting all of my effort into that. Just come here. Oh, I got a, I got a fingertip on it that time. Keep chasing it down, falling on my face, and getting back up. And let me get it. I'm gonna get it. The chase is is almost what I live for now, and it feels so good that I just it's almost what I recommend to anybody who who felt like they were stuck. So that's where I'll leave it. Guys, it's been a while. I'm so sorry for my absence, but I have been fighting a mental battle. And I'm just really trying to get out on top. And I have I have to go to bed very early every day. And I don't have a lot of time to record videos, especially throughout the day. I mean I have two younger siblings. It's this house is loud. It's just it's very hard to record videos. I thought it was gonna be easy, but my internet is so bad here, so it's, it's it's just so hard to record. But and I won't promise you that I'll I'll make videos again. But just know I'm here and I'm paying attention, and my desire for you as a person to grow is all the way up here so that's all I got for you um start here <laughs> all right guys um maybe I'll see you soon I don't think I'll take a as long as a break as I did last time but yeah, um, I love you, for real, like, that's all I got, like, please, for me, can you just start today, because I know you can do it, and if you already started, do not stop, you can take it as far as you want, and even when you think you're done, you can take it even farther, it's, that's the most beautiful part, but I could try this out forever, but um, just have a great night and um, focus up <laughs> alright guys see ya